this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough. How's your day going today? I do believe that um, Adam's Day, um, well, today, which probably you'll see this tomorrow, uh, Adam's Day on the 30th of June was pretty good. Uh, I will say it is fantastic. Adam contacted me. I did say there was one, the image that he wanted wasn't actually in the uh, selection that Di Moon offered. Uh, but I contacted Di Moon and yep, he'll get the one that he wanted, which is Dreamer. Um, Dreamer actually wasn't in the options of um, the prizes, but um, Di Moon Shop, which is always, <laughs> they're always generous. They've just said, yeah, no worries, we'll just add that one to there and uh, no worries at all. Um, I will say that I messaged them and sent them an email and I got a response back on the messenger saying, I've seen your email. <laughs> We're busy packing. <laughs> so there's an order getting pack packed up while I was um, while I was uh, uh, messaging them and emailing them. So yeah. So yeah, Adam, uh, a big congratulations to Adam. He is actually an Australian, and um, you know when he sent me his details, it was uh, I was like, oh, New South Wales. It's uh, you know for for me, I love hearing from. Um, gems out there that are in Australia. Um, it, you know, it, we, we're big, it is a big community, uh, but I will say that a lot of when I work with stuff, it's I'm generally dealing with um, people in the US most of the time, uh, but to have Aussies and actually Aussies winning is fantastic, fantastic. I've seen two other draws since, I will say congratulations to all the winners on that one. Um, there will be more to come. I think there's a few more hours left in uh, the 30th of June. It's not over even here. It's not over here in where I am at the moment. It's only half past nine on the 30th of June. Ah, so there's the excitement for the, for what's happened today. Um, a few other things, Treasure Studio Arts, I unboxed there, uh, the shark, which he's going to be so cool, he's going to be so cool. I can actually see myself sending that down to um, my grandson, <laughs> looking at it going, yeah, we'll send it down there, no, they, they, they can, they've got lots of white pointers down there, they can have Bruce down there. Um, so yeah, so that's a very interesting process with the uh, Treasure Studio Arts. So one of the things I did there was when I ordered, um, not realising that I needed to change the currency because I had so many people, I'd had people saying to me, I oh, check out Treasure Studio Arts in Australia. So I was like, okay, yep, so I did. And I ordered it. Didn't even think that I needed to change the currency from US to Aussie. So um, there is the ability to change that now and shouldn't have an issue. Um, I got a big email from Rachel, so Rachel very appreciated the, the email from her. She did watch my unboxing. Um, what else, what else, what else? The, one of the things I said about that one was uh, the, Inventory sheet, which is in black and white there, that will eventually be in colour. And um, this, now one thing I will say, the um, covering, so I will address this all here, the covering, um, my, I did have some people point out that it is not double-sided tape. Um, to me, I was more emphasising the point that it is not poured glue. You find a lot of people find that um, poured glue is forgiving, very forgiving. Um, and that was my main point was saying it's not poured glue, which is, you just gotta take a little bit extra care. Um, people with poured glue ones will turn their canvases um, backwards, you know, roll them and unroll them. Whereas not being poured glue, you better better just to let it sit which is what I did um, when I opened it up. I let it sit face down while I was uh, going through everything else. 
Um, but yeah, it was really good. Rachel emailed me. There's a big, it was a big email. It was pretty good read. Pretty good read. So thank you, Rachel. Really do appreciate that. Um, there was another issue, but that's all been resolved. So um, customer service, interesting customer service. I was prepared to go. Yep. Yeah, well, it's on me. The the um, currency conversion. That's on me. That's my own issue. Um, I didn't have any issues with anything else except just saying, you know, the coloured sheet would be nice. The canvas and the drills at this stage seem really good and I have done a section of it. I will, however, say that I kitted up and didn't hit the, um, no, I hit the record button, but I didn't get the audio, which is really frustrating me. Um, settings are working. I'd done a video earlier and the settings were working and now I, I went back and I went to edit and no sound on two videos. Mm. Greatly impressed. But that's why you should do a te sound test before you uh, do your full, start your video properly. Learning. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I've got a couple of miserable days here in, in Perth. Um, very fortunate when I did the live giveaway today that the rain had stopped. Um, here where we are, we have a tin roof. Love the sound of rain on a tin roof. But with some of the weather we've had lately, um, <laughs> it, it gets a bit annoying. <laughs> but it's better than not hearing rain at all. It's good to see we're getting rain. Um, what else? So, yeah, what else? For, still got stuff waiting, still waiting on stuff. Um, my planner stuff hasn't arrived yet. Um, typical FedEx. Um, with FedEx, when they ship to Australia, they ship, everything goes to Sydney. So, um, because they send to Sydney, there's an extra two days. So FedEx, you know, they'll send it any, even pre this climate, pre this postage issue, anything that's sent FedEx goes via Sydney and then it goes through clearance and then they put it on a truck or onto a flight to get it to Perth. So that's, it arrives, it goes through clearance and generally, so if they arrived in Sydney on Sunday, it was cleared today, which is Tuesday. So it's probably, probably on the plane or whatever today and should reach Perth tomorrow. But by the time it reaches Perth tomorrow, it will be too late for them to do the deliveries. So I will receive it Thursday. And the silly thing is, if they actually sent them via Perth, um, I would have had it well and truly by now. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not one of these people that actually appreciates FedEx. <laughs> uh, hmm, yeah. Give me DHL any day. DHL recognises Perth as being a, a place to send stuff into the country. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, still waiting on that. Um, uh, what have I got? I've been advised my snack, not my snack crepe, my Japan crepe, crepe has, <clears throat> some of my Japan crepe has been packed. So that shouldn't be too far away. That's coming from DHL. So as soon as I get the email from DHL, on, I'll have it within 48 hours or less. Uh, coming from Japan. Um, I've still got two other packages. And yeah, Erin Condren, I did do two more orders on her stuff um, for the planner side of things. Um, Sophie and Toffee should be not far before they start shipping out. Obviously, packages, uh, subscription boxes are generally at the beginning of the month. So, probably getting the next 
gosh, I'll probably get the next box before I get March box. I'm still waiting on that one. Uh, the live that I was supposed to do this morning for the resin, I've moved to Thursday. Uh, reason behind that is uh, I forgot that I had to do the live drawing for the diamond shop. So, yeah. One of the reasons why planning would be uh, a planner would be very helpful for me. <laughs> Just those little things, you know. So. Um, <clears throat> well, what else? That's about it. That's about it. Bo's just, oh, Bo, since we've come back, is a little bit of a different dog. He's, well, he's what? He's 10 now. He's nearly 10. Um, and I've never seen him sleep as much as he does now. And I don't know whether it's because it's so cold and he just wants to stay in the one spot or whether it's just that he's getting old. Uh, I will say I put a blanket on him the other day. So he's asleep on the couch. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. And I've walked past him, he's asleep. So I've put a blanket on him because here, yes, I'll put heating on here, but generally it's just a case of just needing to put a jumper on and put some socks on the feet. Um, Winters aren't that bad here where we are, and yeah, so I put a put a blanket on him, and uh, walked past four hours later. I, mean, I left him left him bed, came into the craft room, you know, got up about four hours later, and he was still in the same spot. Blanket had not moved, so little little bugger, he's just sleeping so much more at the moment, and I'm hoping it's just just because it's winter, just because he's finding it cold. Well, Nathan reckons I spoil him because I put a blanket over him. <laughs> Bo sleeps at the foot of our bed, right at my feet. Um, and at night time, if he's cold, he shivers and I feel it. So I automatically put a blanket over him so that he doesn't get cold through the night. <laughs> You look after your animals. They're, they're there to do. They 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 are there giving you so much emotional support. Um, the little things that you can do for them to make things happier and more comfortable for them, the better. And yeah, yeah. Uh, but that's about it. Um, I have my okay. I have my camera. So this little fun thing. That's uh, about to start downloading once I finish recording this. I now get to download all my holiday video footage off that. So I'll get to and um, get that download and I'll start doing a whip and chat with that. And when I do that whip and chat, I might, I'm looking at possibly pulling out the great white, working on the great white while I do the whip and chat um, because, well, down in the estimates, there's quite a few great white shots, but yeah. I think that's about it. Um, I think everything's nearly close to going normal. Today is, yeah, Tuesday. Last day of the financial year for Australia. Tax time. <laughs> yeah. I'm normally excited about tax time until last year where I actually got a tax bill. The first time ever I got a tax bill was last year. So this year I'm like going, oh, I don't want to do a tax. Normally I get money back, not this year, not last year. We'll see what happens this year. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will leave it there, guys. Um, I will say thank you for uh, watching. Hopefully you guys are safe and in Australia, warm. And uh, up north overseas, uh, safe and comfortable. Because I'm seeing some videos out there where people are overheating. Um, yeah, I hear it when they, you hear someone, one of, the, one of the creators out there, she's uh, air conditioning not working and it's like, oh, lovely, that's not good. That's one thing that I do like in my air conditioning. Um, but yeah. I will leave that there. 
I won't waffle on any further. I think that's about it. Nothing more to share. I've just got to get some videos done and done. do that. Do a live on Thursday. Um, and hopefully I will get some more packages arrive. Um, yes, yeah, still got some more to come, yeah. But I will say, guys, thank you for watching. And bye for now.